That's question four. Again, there's differences here for us. Difference between the following pairs, sensory nerves and motor nerves. So as we did the last time, sensory nerves there, motor nerves, a column in between, and draw a neat little table with a ruler and a pencil. So, sensory nerves carry impulses. from the receptor to the CNS on the central nervous system whereas the motor nerves they carry impulses from the CNS to the effector which is the muscle or the gland right so that's the first one done. The second one says gestation and parturition. The second one, we have gestation and parturition. Gestation is the period during which the fetus develops. Within the uterus. It's basically a time period of 280 days approximately. Parturition is what delivery is about. It's the expelling of the fetus. from the uterus by alternative contractions of the uterus after gestation is complete that is after the baby has developed that's what parturition is Okay, so that's perfect. Let's move on to the next one. The third one is about diabetes mellitus. And diabetes insipidus. Now, since you've not been told based on what the difference is to be made, you can choose whether you're going to be talking about the hormone that causes it or the symptoms or whatever. For example, I'm going to be talking about based on what causes it. So I'll say caused by hyposecretion of the hormone insulin. this side this is caused by hyposecretion or under secretion of the ADH hormone which is the antidiuretic hormone which is also called vasopressin okay now if required we could have also put down diabetes mellitus urine expelled containing a lot of sugar whereas insipidus does not contain sugar. That would also have been fine. Okay, let's move on to the next one, the yellow spot and the blind spot. Number four, that is the yellow spot and the blind spot. Again, we've not been told what exactly the differences should be based on. So we could talk about in terms of position or I'm going to be talking about in terms of what it contains. Contains 
highest concentration of cones whereas this one does not contain any rods or cones. That's straightforward. And finally, you've got lymph and blood. Lymph for one circulates around in the lymph system and the blood in the circulatory system. Now that's a very obvious one and uh, if you find something better, you write that down. For example, the lymph contains WBCs only along with some other things but it does not contain RBCs etc. Blood on the other hand contains all of these that's the RBCs, WBCs and the platelets. Okay, so we are done with the differences. Let's move on to part B.